That's your gesticulations. Where you look, so. That's my what? Gesticulation. Your, your expression. Gesticulation. Okay. Are you okay, Daddy? Okay. Here we go. No, wait. <laughs> 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 you, you so professional. <laughs> okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Hello, I'm Tanisha Grin, and we have the privilege and we're honored to have the opportunity to interview Mr. William Daniels, who has blessed the earth with his 95 years. This evening, we're going to take this opportunity to ask him questions based on what his life experience has been like here. Okay, Mr. Daniels. Um, well, how, how long have I lived here? Yes, how long have you been? Well, I was born in Rome, Virginia. And uh, we came, my, mo my mother and parents, my, my mother and father came to meet you. Oh, 80 years ago. 80 years ago. Okay, and you were born? When? I was born in Roanoke, Virginia. Okay, and the date is? And the, uh, Your birth date? Gen uh, January 29, 1899. Okay, and your your marital status? Big pardon. Your marital status. You're married. I, I, I'm married. How long have you been married? I've been married twice. Uh, How long? No, I've been married. Yeah, twice. You've been married twice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, my this is, this is my second wife, and uh, her name is Gladys. Schaffner Daniels. Okay, well, I have I have a question for you. What do you prefer to be called or referred as? Do you prefer to be called ethnic, I mean, colored, pardon me, Negro, Afro-American, African-American, or black? It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you, so you don't really have a uh, 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 Really, I guess I, I'll prefer black. Black? Okay. I know you have a lot of memories, so I mean, if you would like to share some that are good, bad, or whatever you feel comfortable with. Well, I've always worked m my life. I've never had any luxury. I've been in service, United States Army, First, War, First World War. I've been enlisted in the Quartermaster Corps. Well, can and I went to New York. New York? Uh, at, at, at fir no, first I went to uh, Newport, Virginia. Oh, okay. And Richmond. And then uh, up in New York. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about your grandparents or your great grandparents? Well, I have my great My grandparents were. Sarah Pickerton from and Thomas. Uh, yeah, Sarah Pickerton. And I forget my father, my grandfather. Okay, that's all right. What about your parents? Oh my my father was Thomas Thomas Daniels and my mother was Bertie Daniels. Bertie Daniels? Bertie. B E R T B E R T I Bertie. Okay. Do you have any children or grandchildren? I have a, one, one, uh, one uh, boy, and he had four daughters. Oh, okay. Do you have any great grandchildren? No. No great. Oh, one. Oh, you have one, one great grandchild. One. Oh, girl. Hmm. Okay. During what period in time was preferred housing restricted to whites only? What time period was um, housing re restricted for blacks? To a certain extent, you mean in, in media? Yes, I'm yeah, kidding. They, yeah, they have color sections, most of the time. Well, uh, some, some mixed. Now down here, 
They used to never, you never see them white folks. But they lived down. In this down area? There. Yeah, you did. Some, we have several families down. They're mixed with color. So this in, is. In this neighborhood. So this has pretty much been an all black? At, a, well, at one time. At one time. So it's become more integrated now, is what you're saying. Did, did your home in the earlier days have running water? Yeah, running oh. water. And it wore out outside. Mm -hmm. Well, no, the strickets and main. What about outside toilets? Yes. You did have those? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, when did they come inside? When, when did you guys have inside toilets? Like, you didn't have to go oh, outside yeah. for the outhouse? In, 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 eight, in, eight, in 18, 1918. 1918? What about sewer lines and cesspools? Was that a that major was all problem? Time for at the same time. Oh, so that was around the early 1900s then. What about radios and televisions and VCRs? Oh, well, that's been a, <laughs> Always had we did we had a radios for about twenty five years. Twenty five years you said? I would say yeah. Okay, well what was the highest level of education you've received? Me? Yes. In grammar school. Grammar school. So you went to kindergarten through fifth or sixth no, I grade. Don't remember that. Kindergarten. I just went to first grade. You just went to first You skipped kindergarten, huh? You just went to first grade. You were with the brighter students. <laughs> you didn't need that extra push. Okay, where, where did you go to um, grammar school? Media. Media. And what types of textbooks? Hmm? What type of textbooks? Learning books? Like, you know how you had to have Geography. Yeah, geography. And arithmetic. Spelling. So there's geography, arithmetic, and spelling. Mm -hmm. uh, did you guys have a cafeteria? Yes. We have some, if you had enough money to pay for it. You, you had to pay to eat in the cafeteria? Oh. Well, you, you, you always had your lunch money. But the school didn't supply... That was the rule we came home. Oh, you came home, I, that's when you right back. So in order for you to eat in school, you had to pay for it. They didn't That's supply right. meals for That's you. Right. That's right. What kind of recreation did you have in school? Did you have gym class where you guys had the opportunity to exercise well, and yeah. all that good stuff? They had baseball, football. Were you good in any of those sports? No. You were good? I, I, I played amateur, you know, I said, not on hospital food. Could afford to. Could How did the teachers much. act? Hmm? The teachers, did they act like they really wanted you to learn? Oh, yes, they were willing if you, if you had the time to take off. Well, of course, you had to work for them. Children you, were working. Work. Did you have a lot of black teachers or white teachers? No, no black. No black teachers no at all? Hey. Did you feel your education helped you in life? Well, that's the course I've been. I'm not a, no, I wouldn't graduate. I didn't graduate. I just went to grammar school. I didn't want to study the work. Okay. Where were you in, employed? Where well, was? Yeah, where have you well, worked? Well, that was during the early start of the First World War. Remington Remington, Remington Arms in Eddystone. Wilmington Arms? R Remington. Remington Arms. Remington. Remington. In Eddystone. What, what kind of company was that? Beg your pardon? What kind of company was it? Uh, it's a manufacturer of rifles. Rifles? Yeah. So you... Sure. They are. So you were, were responsible for putting them together? No, just just say... Uh, all of... In them days, all of... A black man did was labor. It's labor. That's right. So do you have any personal views? Any personal? Personal views of, about employment. Oh, it was very much discriminated. It only, I can I imagine. Said, yeah. It was nothing but labor. Did you ever go in, into business? Any kind of business? Yes. No. No business. Was there anyone in your family that was self-employed? No. At all? Not self employed. Were they a partner in any business? Any of, any of your relatives? Okay. 
During the earlier years, most black people fell upon hard times, where some of us times have, have changed. However, we are often reminded today by the large numbers of homeless and unemployed people that times are, are still hard. Do you think that times are still hard today? Or have they gotten better for black people as opposed to when you Somewhat. Were Sorry, yes, yeah, somewhat. Like, how do you mean somewhat? Can you give me some well, examples? Well, they do have some jobs other than manual labor. They, uh, well, some of them are foreigners, such as that, but nothing else. It's just better, better, put it that way. They, they could be better still, of course. Okay, your birthday indicates that when you were born, William McKinley was president of the United States. Who was the first president of the United States that you can remember? The words of that can remember? Mm-hmm. Well, as I say, uh, in, in 1899, I don't know who was the president. I can't remember that. William McKinley was the president. At that time. But I'm asking you, do you remember any presidents following after him that you may have an opinion about? Oh, yeah. Coolidge. Coolidge? What do you remember most about Coolidge? Well, he was, a, he was president. When the war poured out? When the war poured out? When the first world war, I think he was president. Okay. Do you have any uh, opinions on how he did things? He, was he, he supportive? He, I think he better conditions. You seen better conditions. <laughs> yeah, I think things got better. So you said you were in the military. Mm -hmm. What kind of outfits were you in? Uh, quartermaster. Uh, they uh, lo loaded ships, unloaded ships, and just general labor work. Building, building camps. Mm -hmm. Just labor. Okay, where were you stationed? Newport News, Virginia. Newport News, Virginia. Virginia. That's the only place you never got transferred? Oh, yeah. Well, then we went to New York. New York. Overseas. Overseas. What is the highest rank you've ever received in the Private service? Private first class. Private first class. What does that position in, entail? What were your major responsibilities of having that rank? Well, you were sort of a, uh, assistant to, to the sergeants and and corporal. You, you, you were never in, char in charge unless one of them put you in charge. Or, 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 or like reporter for Reverend Lee, retreat. <laughs> Do you have any opinions about President Ro Roosevelt? Do you remember Theodore Roosevelt at all? No. You don't remember him? Okay, how did the white military personnel treat you when you were in the service? You, you said President. President Roosevelt. The, Do you remember him? Yes, he was, he was just, a, he had a, he was crippled. He was, yes, he was, he was one of the, the died as his fourth, he would have been elected for three times. Go ahead. And he died. He had infant. I think he suffered from infantile paralysis. He suffered from paralysis. He was always crippled. What about Franklin? That's Franklin's on our roads about. That's the one I had the paralysis. Oh, okay. Franklin's on our roads about had the. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were talking about Theodore Roosevelt. No, I don't know. Okay. How did the white military personnel treat you when you were in the service? As good as they could, I guess, if they, you know, and under those conditions, nobody was treated too good, too well in the first world. What nobody. If, what about the black military personnel? Did they treat you? The same as it is today. It's always been the same. Well, how, how is it today? I'm not really familiar with what's it like to be in the service, so if you can expand just a little bit well, and tell us. 
And we're called first class, but they, they weren't treated first class. Oh, okay, they were called first class, but they weren't treated first class. Okay, how did the citizens in foreign countries treat you? Have you, have you ever been to foreign countries? Yes, I've been to France. You've been to France? Yeah, well, that's swell. Let's say swell, because they did. They treated you swell. They did what the, what's the, what's the patrol you did. Oh, they did what they were supposed to do. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to share about being in the war? Anything I would like to say? Anything else that I didn't ask that you would just like to add? No. There's a sense for improvement. Sense from what? There's certainly a chance for improvement. Oh, there's certain. How can I imagine? I'm sure there is. Um, was anyone else in, in, in your family in the wars, like World War One or Two or the Vietnam War? In yeah, my family? Yeah. No, not that I can remember. Uh, uncle, probably uncle. I don't remember. You don't remember? They're all dead. Mother, brother. Okay, what was transportation like? Hmm? Transportation? Like, if, if you didn't have a car, you had to walk everywhere, I'm almost sure. Did you guys have horse carriages or? Oh, uh, furniture own. Okay. You know, I, I've had a car for years now. It wasn't always. Did you ever ride in a horse and buggy? Yes. What was that like? In the boots and the, the ferries? In what? The boots and the ferries. Oh, yes, I've been back and forth in the ferry in Georgia when I was a young man. Okay, well, can you tell us what it was like being on the boat? Well, I'll be all over the river, the canyon, the canyon, and from there on, one by road. How long did it take? on a boat or, or a ferry for you to get, let's say, from Philadelphia to New York. If you're on a ferry, how long was the ride? Hour, hour and a half on a ferry. Okay, when did you start using cars, the automobile? Uh, my own? Yes. Oh, 1925. 1925? What about taxi cabs? Did you ever use the taxi cab service? Oh, yeah, but not enough to to, to, to know what the step. What about the bus? The bus, yes. And the trolley car? Yes. Have you ever flew on an airplane? No. You've never flew on an airplane? I've lived on it. And, uh, and I'm not in any hurry. You're not in any hurry, too? Okay. When, going okay communication technology has changed um, the telegraph was invented by Samuel D Morse and the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell when did you first see someone with a, 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 a telegram or a telegraph when did I first see someone, mm -hmm. see oh. someone or, or, or send someone a telegraph or oh, a telegram. well like well, had a death in, in my mother's family Get a telegram that way. How did that work? All right. Very quick, very, very quick. Very good. Okay. When did you first see someone make a, a telephone call or receive a telephone call? Well, when they, when they died, in whatever year it could be. I just can't remember that. So the, the only grandparents died. And I was, I had several of them. So it happened in the normal. The only time you used a telephone or a telegram was in case of an emergency if someone passed away. Okay, what about the first radio or the first radio program? Well, the first program I got on the radio would be, uh, uh, he's a great, a lot of stars come up under him. Years ago, he's been dead. I can't think of that name. Well, I know he has several stars. Now they started off with him. He uh, he was a great swimmer. Oh, yeah. Johnny Weissmuller. Hmm? Johnny Weissmuller. What did you say? Johnny Weissmuller. 
Johnny White's Miller. Yes, that's right. Okay. Did you remember any spe specific programs that aired over the radio? Like soap operas and... Well, the same fellow I was thinking, of, thinking about, but I can't call his name. He, uh, he, uh, he, Eddie Fisher was one of his... Eddie one, Fisher. Eddie Fisher was one of his clients. And I can't think of that man's name. He's been dead a long time. Major Bose? Who? Major Bose? Major, Major Bose. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he, he brought Eddie Fisher up. Okay. This guy brought Eddie Fisher up. I, I can't think of that man's name. It's what been so long ago. He's been dead so long. Mm -hmm. What newspapers have, have you read? Hmm? What newspapers have you read during your life? Oh, I do. Democrat paper. Democrat newspaper? Mm -hmm. Mostly. So there, there was a newspaper especially designed for those who are Democrat. Yes, yes, they're Democrat paper. Bulletin, mm -hmm. Bulletin was Republican. What was it called? The Bulletin was Republican. The Bulletin. Well, what was the name of, of the North, Democrat, the Democratic newspaper? North American. North American? Do you read newspapers that were especially designed for people of, of color? Color? Yes. Tribune. The Tribune? Yeah. Okay. Was there a newspaper called The Crisis and Opportunity? That, or was that like a magazine? No, it was a, Tribune was a, 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 a weekly paper. A weekly yeah, newspaper? Yeah, it's color. Okay. Well, well, what books have you read? Hmm? What books have you read? Oh, I, I read most of the magazines, just detective stories, something like that. You like detective stories? Mm -hmm. what, what kind? Do you remember any of the authors of the detective stories that you read? Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember. It's been so long. Is it crazy? Mm -hmm. Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy? Yeah. Dan Dunn. Dan Dunn. Dan Dunn, is that a familiar name to you? Yeah. I remember Dick Tracy. I read it. Quite a good thing. Clumsy Cloy. Clumsy Cloy. <laughs> what was his detective stories about? Do you remember? Crime. Crime? Was there a, like a, a funny twist to them or Clumsy Cloy? Clumsy Cloy. Oh, it was a comic detective yeah. story. Okay, what about movies? When was the first the first time you saw a movie? First movie I saw. Saul and his son. Saul and his son. Saul and his son. That was the name of the movie. If I'm not mistaken. But you're going back so far. I, can't. I went to movies quite often, but I can't remember. Have you seen any movies in, in the past that were produced by people of color? No, not produced by them. I uh, saw some of them played them, like Dancer, you know, Step and Fetch It, such like, but uh, I, I, I never remember any, any kind of ever produced them. Okay, what do you think about the movies that have been produced in this day and age, in this time? What do I think of the pictures the now? Movie? Yes. No, 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 no. The biggest thing with most of our people are athletes, such as ball athletes, players. Ball players. Movies about athletes and ball players? You mm -hmm. You said you see movies about athletes and ball yeah. players. Yeah, hey, boys on trial now. What's his name? Just getting a draw for him. O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. That was one of my favorites. He was one of your favorites. Okay. Hmm. Do you think he's guilty? He's got a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> right there. I've been reading about him today. Yes, he's got a lot of. I really feel sorry. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people feel a little do. sorry for him. It's just like somebody in the family. He's in, he's in, a, in a lot of trouble. Yeah. He's in a, 
and he won't have a nickel. You're right about that. No, he won't have a nickel when he's through. He, 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 he was just through the line. What was health care like for you? Yeah, same. I don't think he did, but I think he, he knows a lot about it. Yeah, but that good, that boy's in trouble. If there ever was anybody in trouble, I'd man, I feel sorry for him. Okay. What about health care? Mm -hmm. health, health care. Were you denied health care when you were in the service? Or were, oh, I don't think there was. I don't think there was such a thing as when I, when I was a no such thing as health health care? And in those days, back in the teens? I'm asking. I'm not really sure. I, I'm try, trying to answer you, too. So there, there was I no... I don't remember. No health care? No. A when do you remember it coming about? What would you say? A poor person in White Orbrock didn't have it in, in the 1800s. Well, what know? about the 1900s? Let's say, like, 1940s or 50s. Yeah, it was pretty good. Did I belong to it? Oh, I, I, I think it was in existence at that in, in, in year, but a poor person didn't put it in. Okay. Well, how have you been treated by doctors and nurses over the years? Doctors and nurses? How have they been, treated you? Have, have well, they been I good have, to you? Have, have they denied have, you have, service yeah, or anything? Yeah, they treat you all right. But I've just been very fortunate. I haven't had... This is the only... I'm what, what you might say sick. I'm not really sick now. I have rheumatism and arthritis in my limb, but I'm not sick, but okay. not able to work okay. and too old. Okay. What about insurance companies? Were there insurance companies around? Oh, yeah. The old, yeah, philanthropic. Philanthropic. Yeah. That was an insurance company that you were associated with. Okay, how do you feel about the black church in the black environment? Has it been a powerful agent as far as getting people into black colleges? And you do the best they can. It was uh, what? You, uh, you ask a good question, they're sensible, but they're hard to answer because uh, we're not, uh, I don't see where we're, we're advanced. Really? That's interesting. Very slow. Have, were you a, a prominent member within the black church? I would say prominent, but a member. You are a member. What about the church choir? Were you in the church choir? No, 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 You're not a singer? How about the pastors of the black church? What about? How, 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 look, how do you feel about the black pastor? Has he really... Some are good and some are not good. Some are good and some are no good. What about the Sunday school? Yeah. Sunday school? Yeah. Did you Wonderful. ever go? Wonderful. You love Sunday school. Uh, I think. Because it's, 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 it does the best it can. It's a starter for children. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're better to be there than on the corner. Put it that way. That's true. I, I, they have a few minutes to, so somebody can watch over them. But now the children are like, Rats, you just turn them loose. They do whatever they want to What about your favorite scripture in the Bible? Do you have a favorite scripture in the Bible? There's a lot of things in the Bible that I like. Uh, do unto others you have to do to yourself. That's about the best thing in the Bible. Yeah, if, we, if we do it. Right. What about your favorite hymn, your favorite church song? Favorite hymn? Yes. Peace in the Valley. Peace in the Valley. Can you sing it for us? I'm not familiar with that one. It's a, you're not a Baptist. Huh? I'm, I am a Baptist. I'm not familiar. And you don't know Peace in the Valley? No. Nope. Someday there will be peace in the Valley. How's it go? Well, I think. There will be peace in the Valley. Someday I know. And it repeats itself. That was, that's, a, that's the title. It's a M. And sang in Baptist Church a lot. Methodist really? too. Really? Yeah. He's in the valley. I've never heard it. Yeah. So oh, why is that? I don't your think he <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I 
I do go to church. I always go to I go to That's church as much as I can. There will be peace in the valley. Well, what about someday. why is that your favorite hymn then? Peace in the valley. Why, someday why? I know. Someday you'll know there'll be peace in the valley. What does that song mean to you? It, well, it, it means a lot to me because it means it won't be this bad always. You're right. I agree there with will you there. Be peace in the valley. How do you feel about the behavior of young people today as opposed to young people of your time when, when you were coming of age? As I say, that's where Sunday school does come in for an hour or so, a week. It does, you do know where they are, where the children are, say in Sunday school. But other than that, I'm sorry. How do you feel about people in general, as a whole? People ask me. How do, what, how, what do I say about people in whole? The behavior of people in general today as opposed to the earlier Day. 19... Day. People do it so free. You know, terrible read to today? Out of, and let them see you pull some money out of your pocket and see what happens to you. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you would like to share about the black church? I'm for it 100%. Okay, that's good. Do you like any art? Art? You're not an uh, art fan. <laughs> huh? You're not an art fan then, huh? No, I wouldn't say that. It's all right. So you don't know any sculptors or painters? No. Not that person. There was one artist. I can't really think of his name right now. But a lot of uh, black people always had their work, his work, in their homes. I can't, I can't. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. Asawa Tanner, that's who. Are you familiar with Asawa Tanner? Who? Asawa Tanner. I'm not familiar. Yes. Asawa, what was he? He was an artist, an artist. Oh, okay. No, I'm not familiar. What about the performing arts, like dance and theater? Do you like to go to the theater? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, sure. I like to hear. Can you name some of the plays that you might have gone to see? Some of the what? Plays. Have, a, have you a virus? A virus? A, 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 you mean prayers of Iris? Color? Prayers of Iris. That's the name of the name of the play that you went to see as well. No. What about what, what did you do for entertainment? Well, I, I like athletes, basketball, football. Okay, did you ever go to the Nixon Grand or Face Theater? Have you ever heard of any of those places? No. What about the Apollo Theater or Cotton Club? Well, where were they dancing, drinking? <laughs> I, I like that. Okay, well, how do you feel about black singers and like black what? singers. Singers. Yeah. Like remember um, some some of the blues songs and jazz? Well her name? she just fell off and she just died here about a year ago. Pearl Bailey? Who? Pearl Bailey? Pearl Bailey? Yeah, Pearl that's right. Yeah. Okay, did you know anything about Marian Anderson and Oh I Marianne, she's a wonderful person. Wonderful. I, I like her. She's a good singer. What about Paul Robinson? Who? Paul, Paul Robinson? Fine fellow. Fine fellow. Sarah Vaughn? Yeah. If you, if you, if you don't cross her up. If what? She, she, she a terrible. The one can take care of you if you make her mad. It's <coughs> 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 That's long. As everything's going smooth, she's a fine person. As long as everything's going smooth, you say Sarah Vaughn is a fine person. Oh, so it's not good to cross her then, huh? What about Rosetta Thorpe? Gladys Swarthout? Unimay Carlisle. Unimay Carlisle. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going home. I don't. I, I like an athlete. Sports, as I said, but those kind of people like, you know, I don't go particularly crazy about them. But I'm, I'm a great football and basketball. A great football and basketball fan. I what love if, it. What about fights? Do you like fights? Okay, well, name some of the boxers that you used to like to watch a lot. Uh, one of them's in jail now. Got six years. Who's that? that? What's that boy? Just Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Yeah. So you used to watch a lot of his fights? Oh, yeah. Good fights. What about uh, Joe Lewis? And wonderful. He was a wonderful fighter. If he, if he, no education. They robbed him. Poor boy. They robbed him? <laughs> yeah. What about Henry Armstrong? But one of the best. One of the best. One of the best. What was he, lightweight, heavyweight? Heavy, who? Joe Lewis? No. Henry Armstrong. You said Henry Armstrong was the best. I said, no, I didn't. Oh, I Joe didn't. Lewis? You, yes. You're trying to confuse me now. Who are you talking about, Joe Lewis or Henry Armstrong? I, I just said a thing about Henry Armstrong. Okay, so I'm messing up. So it's Joe Lewis, he was the best boxer. And he was heavyweight. All around fighter. Oh, he was all around. Like, you can... There was a such thing as an all-around fighter? Well, like You can be heavyweight class, and lightweight? Heavyweight. Oh, so he was all-around in heavyweight boxing. Yeah. Okay, what about Joe Gans? I didn't know too much about him. Kid Chocolate? Do you remember that name? Patterson was a good fighter. Who? Uh, Patterson. Patterson. Mm -hmm. Patterson. Okay, what about Sandy Sattler? And I don't know too much about him. Okay, what if you said you like football? Do you remember anything about Buddy Young? Buddy Young. No, I know about was his boy from Philadelphia. Uh, and uh, we'd only been retired about six or eight years. been in any type of social or organizations like the NAACP? No. I have a lot of friends. You have a lot of friends? But I haven't. I want to. I've got too old to be. You got too old I, I to, like be cool to be cool with in the a company. You like to be in a company? Picnics. Their picnics. Things like that. What is that? I always like to drink. You like to drink? Yeah. What do you like to drink? What was your favorite drink? What is my name? Yeah. Favorite drink? You drink now? I'm a gin drink. You like gin? You, you drink a lot of gin now? No, mm -hmm. not now. Not now. Not in the last three or four years. <laughs> the last three no. or four years? No. So three I or four years ago, when you were younger, you used to drink a lot of gin then, huh? What about community service? Did you do any? I don't know you were going to ask me. And ask for <laughs> When they ask me. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Um, what about holidays? What were your holidays, like Christmas and Thanksgiving with all your family and Party. friends? Partying. So you like to party then. Okay. I, then I do. Then you I can. can't now. You can't now. No. I'm sure you can. No. I'm sure you can party. <laughs> you know better than I do. Well, what type of dances did you you, um, you guys do? Like the electric slide or the... Oh, okay, okay. What about famous black personalities like Booker T. Washington? What, what did you think of his philosophy? What would I say about him? Mm -hmm. All right. W.E.B. Du Bois. Hmm? W.E.B. Du Bois. Hmm? W.E.B. Du Bois. He had a talented 10th philosophy. Do you know anything about him? No. What about Marcus Garvey? He's a smart man. He's your man. A smart man. Oh, he's a smart man. Yeah, what about Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X? A good man. Good man. You mean King? Reverend Reverend King? Yeah, Reverend Dr. Yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, good man. He did the, he, he did his, did the best he could to shut him down. Okay, how do you feel about the black leaders of 
today. Do you think we have any black leaders today? Well, black leaders are just like white leaders. You think so? Until they get where they can steal from. And when they can steal, and that's it. That's mostly the end of them. But they, everybody, everybody's out for the dollar, black or white. And sooner or later they get it. And sooner or later they get it. And that's the end of them. That's true. I can agree with that. If you could live your life all over again, is there anything you, you would change? Hmm? If you could live your life over again? If I could live my life over again? Is there anything? Oh, uh, I had, I've had some wonderful experience. I've seen some good things and some bad things happen. Right. Is there a special message that you would like to give to your family? Any message? Yes. Well, the only message I could give is, is trust in the good Lord. Trust in the good Lord. Because it's, it ain't going to be so hot here. That's true. Is there anything you would like to talk about that we didn't go over this evening that you might want to discuss? Is there anything? No, you went through very good things. You asked some wonderful questions and a lot of them I couldn't answer. Well, that's okay. You did the best you could and that that's was right. important. You gave us your uh, best well, effort. You wanted my opinion and I... I gave it to you. That's right. We're very much obliged. Have you ever um, seen a professional dancer? Have I ever saw one? Yeah. What about Bojangles? Well, that was Mr. One. Bojangles and Alvin Ailey. That was one. Josephine Baker. Yes. Catherine Dunham. No, thank you. What about the Nicholas Brothers? Who? The Nicholas Brothers. Good. They're good. good. Okay, now back to this, this dancing. Now you like to dance. Did you do the catwalk or the foxtrot? No, I, I like dancing, but I, I thought I'm not a dancer. I like to look at it. Oh, you never danced? I thought, I oh. thought you told me you used to like to dance. Oh, I party. waltz or two-step. The two-step. Two <laughs> what about the, Charles, the, the Charleston, Charleston and the Lindy Hop? Yeah, I, I, I'm not a, a dancer, but I like to look at it, and I do the best I can. You do the best you can. Is there any other dances that you might be able to name, like the, the trucking? That's all right. I think, well, you can't show me next time. I might have to get you to show me some of these dances uh -huh. next time. Yeah. I'm glad you said show you. <laughs> What's the... Do you remember anything about the Titanic? Yes, I, I that was a, quite a, a young. disaster. I was quite young, but I remember. What do you remember most about it? They were all white. They were all white. I didn't know that. They were all. They were all white. Yeah. There was not one black individual. Not that people. I ever heard of. I was going to ask you a question. I'm glad to interject. There was a poem they used to talk about. The shine, oh shine. You remember that one? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the name of the poem was Titanic. And uh, the, 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 name of the, the, the name of the poem was Titanic. Uh, yeah, there was poem. a poem. Do you remember that one? Of the people used to recite on the corners. Titanic and says, shine, oh shine, so and so and so. you remember that one? I don't know. I remember when it happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I was in my teens oh, yeah. when mm -hmm. it happened. Yeah, everybody. Uh, well, I, I never remembered it. I used to hear them recite it in the Army, verbatim, word for word, and uh, I never sat down. I wasn't smart enough to remember it. I had I easily break into it. Uh, that's basically what we were asking. Do you remember any jokes or poems or, or songs that you would like to share with us? Jo jokes or songs? Jokes, poems, songs, whatever you might want to share with us. Uh, I like them all. Do you remember? Any songs or poems specifically? What about jokes? You used to tell jokes. Did you ever tell? You, you told a lot of jokes. Do I? Uh, do I tell? Have you told a no. lot of jokes? No, I listened. To them. <laughs> you listened to them. What were your favorite ones? Do you remember any? No. What about a 
poem then? What? A poem. I've heard a lot, but I forgot them. I enjoyed them and heard them. What about your favorite song that came on over the radio while you were getting dressed in the morning? Is there a song you like the boogie to? Turn the radio on, get in the dress. I, I, I like them all, to be frank with you. Okay. Just like to say that I thank you for giving us the opportunity to come and ask you questions about what it was like because it's, I think it's real important for young people to kind of relate or kind of know the history of those who have went before us. But just, and you might say, or you might. We have a long way to stick with it. I'm almost sure we do. I'm almost sure we do. But and we improvement. Sometimes you think you, it's improving. It is. And you go out of or pick up the paper and you say it's just as bad as it ever was. Yeah, but we're we, strong people. We always rise to the we, occasion. If, if, if we weren't, we wouldn't be as many of us here as there is right now. We had to be strong. And we had to have a a lot of help from the book. Right. Oh, yeah. And we still can stand a lot of help. <laughs> well, Mr. Daniels. We're a long, we're, we're still behind the age, though. And don't think that. Okay, Mr. Daniels. If Daniel. you don't think that we're, we're still behind the age, wait till this verdict comes out with O.J. Simpson. That's going on. When that day comes, I don't know why I really want to be here. It won't be long from now. But I don't believe the places and things I don't want to see or hear after this verdict. Because it's not going to be any better. Yeah, you're right. And if you pick up that paper and read it daily like I do, there's nobody in Simpson's home. No. You might always shirk a few, naturally. But the poor boy's in a lot of trouble. And it's going to have a lot to do with the color race, too. It's going to have a lot to do with, with, with the, the color, color race. race. In the future. Oh. Whether he's acquitted or not. It's, it's, I don't know whether it's going to be better or worse. But I don't think it's going to be any better. Especially if, if he's acquitted. My God. It'd be bad for us. Almost like it was. You, you've done Probably you won't notice it overnight. But this is this, this is what one of the worst things could ever happen to the black race. Yeah. Oh yeah. What is a lot of people take it as a joke or just an ordinary happen. But that boy is a, he's in trouble. What did you think of the L.A. riots a, a couple years ago with Rodney King? They got no better. A lot of people wouldn't want to live in the Los Angeles for, for that. And those cops, and the same thing has happened right in Philadelphia. And the uh, Los Angeles cops are no, no worse than they are right here in Chester and Philadelphia. Yeah. Whoever catch a Negro out here for a white woman, you'll find that. Later tonight, I'm sorry. He's got a lot of explaining. It ain't, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna get no better. Do you think so? Well, I'm a, an optimistic person. You, you know what you were 50 years ago? 50 years ago? Yeah, you know what you were? What? Native, and you're Native today. Well, I'm sure I am. To those environments. That's what you'll be another 50 years. Not in God's okay. eyes, and that's what's important to me, of how mm -hmm. God sees me. Mm -hmm. Well, not not individually, but as a whole. Nigger is nigger. And that's what a black man is. I don't care. He may give you a dollar out of his pocket, or anything he's got, but you're still a nigger. You can cook him a good meal, leave his house, and everything. His children, and how, regardless how good you treat them, 
how good you, you are to him. You were still in it. Well, see, that's why we have to have our own. It's time for us to start building and creating. Yes. You're right there. You're right there. I think that's what everything boils down to because if you depend on someone else for anything. Only, no. You are right. Unfortunately, you truly can depend on Exactly. And that's no, what, no. And until we understand He'll that. He'll shake hands with you, probably sit at the table with you and eat. But that's as far as you go. When you start fooling with their women, you're in trouble. I bet you, I bet you that poor old Simpson don't sleep. He thinks of that hour. That man is in trouble. So uh, you he, know, I, I would sit here talking to some people on Sunday night of our church, mm -hmm. and, and I said to them. He would be better off if he died. Mm. Really? And who? It would be better if he just laid down and went to sleep and didn't wake up. Because he'll never have any peace on his own. Regardless of where he goes, it may be for a meeting, an outing, a social event, but he'll still be there. That nigga. And they acquitted him. Mm. And if he lived, he'd live in hell just the same. Show me why he lived. Wherever he goes, he'd still be OJ. And you know what he did. There is, which is one of the worst things that ever happened to black person. Do you remember reading about the riots after Jack Johnson beat uh, Just Willard? Was it Just mm -hmm. Willard? You remember reading about the riots after uh, Jack Johnson beat uh, Just Willard? And every Joe. time, J Jack Johnson. Yeah. And every time he would beat a white man, uh, there would be riots and black folks would get uh, butchered up in the South. And, uh, and it's been hell ever since, too. Yeah. Yes, it's been hell ever since. You know, Jack Johnson was was no good to this to the black race. Yeah, he was crazy. No, he was a wonderful player. Mm -hmm. but Jack Johnson was no good to our people, to his, to his people, which is this. He would have been better if he was never born. We would have we would have fared better if Jack Johnson was never born. He started this trouble. You say he started this trouble? Yes. When he married that white woman. And it'll be that way a hundred years from the day too. White people did not like that mixed up stuff. If you, if you, if you don't really just go someplace with one of them, sit up at your grandstand with one of them, and watch how that look you see you know, they don't like it. You can use their money, but don't fool with that woman because you have, you have, you overstepped yourself right there. He's, and that's my belief. I never saw one yet, and I work with them daily by the thousand. Been around them by the thousand. None of them like it. They may laugh and joke with you, but they don't like it. Just tell them, just tell one of them you got a white woman. See how, see what, how he feels about you. Okay. Well, she's going to wrap up now. Do you want to wrap up again? Yeah. Well, like I said before, Mr. Daniels, we are very pleased and we're thankful to have had the opportunity to interview you. You've informed us on a lot of things that I don't think we ever would have learned in the history books because you were one of the legacies that keep our blood running. And your intellect and your intelligence and, and your spirit run through the veins of young African American men and women. And once again, we would just like to thank you. Well, I'll tell you another thing. I just now said that they don't like us for that particular reason. I don't see why I have any love for them. Because I certainly don't see where their women 
our spirit child, our superior child. I, I agree with that. No. For looks, education, and perfect and perfect health. I don't see where they outrate our women. You're right. But why a black man have, as soon as he gets in power, he gets the one in a nice place, like old day. He has to have a nice because so maybe for him that's like a, 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 a trophy symbol. You know, like, okay, well, I've achieved this, so now it's time for me to go and, and get this white girl. So this proves to my environment that. Well, that better off it, would he, let him not have any money. O.J. Simpson's a millionaire. But what, what keeps him that money? But after this verdict is one way or the other, he'll be just as poor as I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he still wants a white woman. Uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I like to think he may have learned from this experience, although it may be a little too late. But the consequences. Well, I don't. As I said before, I don't, I don't see where their women are. It's any. It's superior to our women in any way. Yeah. In any way. 